Have you ever thought Jesus like a refiner's fire? A launderer's soul? Soap? You know, there's a verse in Malachi chapter 3 verse 2, 3. It says, who can endure of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? Telling about his the power, majesty, about his holiness. I think we question about the holiness in our lives, about the sanctification in our lives, the purity, the morality. Because we're in a world contaminated with every dark thing, sin, sickness, lack. Right, and we have a fear, one side of fear. And the kid Bayamur on that you ain't the any heaven Kalagal Gutana. In spite of you being preaching grace, 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 make life look pretty as Nazare, you have a thought that I can go to heaven. I take me cook a verse on the okay prophecy on the that is Malaka chapter 3, verse 1. Aim prophecy, aim TD, and then each chapter 3 low we see as about the Jesus coming, first coming, and second coming also. Okay, at the first coming, it's done. At the one, two, three low, you see a second coming there. Akriyaman turned to God, he will, he's like a refiner's fire, launderer soap. Imagine Jesus, God is like that, he's a refiner's fire. Okay, he's refining something to, to get a good output. And a launderer soap, he has to deal with the coal and the fire, with the water and the fire. And Verse 3, he'll sit as a refiner's fire, purify you as a silver. He'll, he'll purify the sons of Levi as gold, gold and silver, as an offering to the Lord, as a sacrifice to the Lord. See, that's a prophecy that has been God given to you. But we miss this, only we can, we, we stick on to that, the first part, that who can endure of his coming. Yes, you can endure of his coming. Who can endure of his coming? You are the perfect you are the perfection of the lord you are the beauty of the lord but you maybe have a smoking habit nick smoking habit under two you may have all kind of weaknesses aithe first corinthian chapter the eman to nante the jesus he has become the wisdom the righteousness sanctification and redemption aithe ee righteousness nick ivabadi undi but the same bible says the same word says there's no good in you. Your heart is full of deceitful. I did recognize the righteousness. It didn't even launch Ravat Ledu. It has been granted to you as a gift. Romans chapter 5 says it has been granted to you a gift. It is a gift to your body only. It is a gift. This is a gift. Okay? I think you know Pandukuna righteousness. What you receive as a gift of righteousness, it is a pure gold. It is a precious substance. like in, when you are put into a fire I mean it, it it consumes all the dirt it consumes all the chaff maybe of sin maybe of smoking maybe of bad habits weaknesses everything will be evaporated everything will be everything will be burned off you will be pure hallelujah I say you can no chance in pan intente sit be close that's why there's a complaint on Jesus when he was on the earth, when he was in the math, when he was in the tax collector's house, many people gathered around him. When he was at the table of Jesus, when they, when they are having, when they are having food, when they are eating, Amani Angnar and the Pharisees, your teacher eats with publicans, tax collectors, with the sinners. Apu Jesus Amantar and I have not come for the righteous. I have come to give the repentance to the sinners. 
has called sinners for the repentance and there is no righteousness that means God is working on the righteousness that's why a woman caught in adultery when she appeared before Jesus or when he in when she was recognized by Jesus and Jesus said sin no more neither I do condemn her something that God has spoken in our life that sin no more as he prophesied sin no more There's a power of righteousness in your life. There's a power of righteousness. That's why brothers and sisters, don't worry about your weaknesses. That's why God is so faithful. God is faithful. He can able, you know, God is faithful. So that he can make you, present you blameless at the day of, at, at the day of his coming. That's what the God is interested. Amen. So stop believing the lies of devil. Stop believing the lies of the enemy saying you are sin you are sinful you are this and that no if you look at your body you find more if you look at your body if you search your heart you will find more come on expose yourself to the fire the righteousness the spirit that you receive from the cross you will be transforming you will see the transforming nature in the righteousness of the lord you will see the marriage flourishing you will see your life radiating with the glory in the righteousness of the lord